so I have Moses today here in the heart of South Beach, uh, Brazilian, uh, living in Miami Beach. You've been here for what, year and a half now? One year and a half, yeah. One year and a half. So how do you find South Beach? What do you think? Uh, South Beach is a nice place. It's a beautiful place, uh, expensive place, very expensive. Right. And but it's nice to live here. Mm, but for me, exactly, I don't think it's very nice to live here because I think it's better for tourists. Do you know? Right, uh, right, right. It's a, it's very a lot of people the whole time, and for I I prefer one life one place very. Uh, is you know easier than Miami Beach, right? But it's a nice place and a, a beautiful c city. You can find everything here. I mean, you live uh, in what Eighth Street? You live in the heart of Miami of South. Beach. Ninth Street. Yeah, Ninth yeah. Street. So so it's quite noisy there, right? Uh, you have a lot of noise, bars, tourists going by every day, or, what? or, or not? Oh no, uh, no exactly. For example, we have some times here in Miami very noise for example spring break oh yeah I for example so. like that's one i i always want to leave you know if i, I kind of want to leave the florida in general like spring break is crazy you can't get through you can't drive through here it's, it's hard to get uber or whatever it's just there's always issues you know usually for local people exactly and about that holiday very danger here in miami they think it's very dangerous. Oh, yes, yes. I don't remember the name. Memorial Day. Memorial Day. And Memorial Day is super crazy. So they, it's they like a hip hop festival. It's like a lot of black people come from all over the country. Yes. And, and, and yes. some of them wreak havoc. They they have shootouts and exactly. And they in, exactly. And they they close the road the road. Right. Yeah. And it's a little. They think it's danger. For me, it's not danger because I'm. <laughs> I'm sorry, but I'm from Brazil, so right. it's not danger for me. It's easy. But it's like to live here, it's not noise in 9th Street. It's close here, it's close to Ocean Drives, mm -hmm. but it's not, it's not noise. It's, it's not, there is, it's quiet there. But except in holidays, in spring break, because a lot of people walk in the street and they, they do everything. Here in Miami is crazy, you know. The city is this city is super. I have never I, I been. Mean, if you lived in Miami or Miami Beach, you've seen it all. Like nothing is gonna surprise you anymore. Nothing. Anywhere in the world. Exactly. You get the weirdest here. You get you get all sorts, and it, it's the only place where I think uh, where it's absolutely fine to be as weird as you want to be, and no one's gonna even look at you. You know. Exactly. Like it. So, Everything is not a surprise. Yeah, a lot of people come here. A lot of gay people come here to to come out of the closet, to become gay, uh, to become officially gay. In, exactly. In the public, right? Exactly. So, so even I meet a lot of people who are not openly gay. They they don't say that they're gay. They don't. But I I know they're gay. Oh yeah. But I think they're waiting for uh, the right time to say, "Here I am." You know. I, I know. Yeah, I true? know what you mean. Ah, uh, or is it? Um, am I misreading everything? What? Well, you know, today it's too hard to know who is gay, who is not gay, right. because, uh, for example, when I go to the gym, uh, I, I, I can see a lot of people there, and I think 90% of people in my gym, at my gym is gay. Uh, he is a nice place for gays. Also, we have. Uh, in Fort Lauderdale, they have a place uh, uh, only for gays. I don't know if you know that. I've heard about it. It's only gays there, and, and they have shaped the neighborhood. It's shaped like a dick. Yeah. Yeah. It's, it's not <laughs> real. It's not real. <laughs> Look. But, but it would make sense, right? It's me. But here in Miami Beach, especially the night, is not good for gays because they have only one or two nightclub for gays, like a Twist. And like São Paulo in Brazil, super better than here. It's better than here. Mm -hmm. Like the night here, night is usually in United States, the night's not good. You know, uh, this the the thing that I hate here in Miami Beach. No think about my family because it, it's normal, but uh, maybe because it's too crazy, man. Like it, the people are very rude. You know, it's different. When I came here in United States, 
I think about to live in a city like very American. Miami is like a, a piece of South American. Miami is not United States. And, uh, I don't I feel agree. United States here. I agree, absolutely. Exactly. Think, you know where but you are in Miami Beach. There's nothing like Miami Beach. Even like you look at the sidewalks, there, everything has a certain color. You're not going to get that anywhere else. Yes. Uh, they, they do care, the city council, Miami Beach, they care about making it look good. Even like we have outdoors gym here. It's beautiful. It's it blends in with nature. It's the, the way it's designed. Yes, yes. And they, they put so much thought to making it look nice. And I think it's thanks to Miami Vice in the 80s when things turned around. Because in the 70s and early 80s, Miami Beach was uh, uh, in a very bad place. It was basically a retirement city for old people, uh, middle to lower class retirees because tourists didn't want to come here that much anymore because uh, you know Orlando opened the Disney World and uh, exactly uh, uh, air travel became very easily available and the people would just go to Bahamas or, or you know Cuba exactly. or oh, so Puerto Rico sort of like uh, uh, you know forgotten a little bit until uh, Miami Vice came around and they started shooting a show mostly here in, in, in Miami Beach and some in Miami and Miami Vice showed Miami in the most beautiful color. Uh, so, so at that point, it gained popularity, especially in Europe. So people in Europe finally found out, oh, there's Miami. Oh, this is Miami. Oh, okay. Yeah. It's beautiful. I love it. I I'm going to go there. You know, uh, people here in the United States, uh, when they think about Miami Beach, they think like uh, paradise, like a lot of uh, coconut trees, it's a paradise. The ocean is very pretty, and this city is very pretty. It's I love our deco, by the way. Me too. It's nice, yeah. but it's not a paradise. Well, I don't think paradise exists as as, as we think. You don't think so? I, I think human mind is not designed to be happy all the time. I mean, how how long can you be happy without being sad? How long? Your that. mind is going to find something to be upset about. You could be rich, healthy, you could have everything you want, you love, but you still will find something to be unhappy about. You know, about. one thing here in Miami that I love is the ocean. Right. I have never seen one ocean uh, beautiful like this ocean. Oh, really? It's a Caribbean, mm -hmm. like, it, like it's San Juan, but the water is incredible hot. Yeah. And Maybe I especially love especially in the summer. Especially in the summer. I would say it's too hot because uh, I remember I was training for a lifeguard course, and I was swimming every day for hour, hour and a half, just along the beach, you know, up and down, up and down. And it was too hot to train. Uh, I would like I would need to cool off in in the building. Afterwards yes. Because the water one day tea. one day I was in the water, and was hot outside, and was hot at the water. Yeah. So I was like. What the fuck? It's very hot, but yeah. but it's good, man. I I thought before I came here, I thought the water in my city was hot, but it's not hot. Hot is here, so I love this ocean. This ocean is the best one in my life. I agree. It's I incredible. Agree. It's always, yeah. I can change one thing here, in Miami Beach, and I can change in the world as well. Like it. one thing that I hate here is about the the homeless people. No, because they are homeless. Because the situation is sad. Do you know? Right. Yeah. And there are a lot of homeless around, and I think they are, some of them have mental issues. You know, in my job, it's crazy. You know. Yeah. So. Because you work. Uh, some people feel sad about the homeless. I don't feel sad about the homeless here in this country, because you know, I feel sad about the homeless in my country because they don't have the opportunity there. In this country now, a lot of people would like to be here to work yeah. because this country that is opportunity for everyone. And the homeless people just want to be homeless people because they 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 want food free. They, uh, sometimes they are they are homeless because they use a lot of drugs, and we have a lot of, uh, some exceptions like uh, people crazy. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah, but a lot of crazy people. Uh, yes, uh, the, I, I have I mean, never seen my in my life a lot of crazy, 
crazy half people people high, like here in Miami, man. Half of them are crazy. Uh, it's true. I don't know if they're crazy if they started off crazy or they got crazy because they were using drugs and something exactly. went wrong. I think it's all about the drugs because this city smells marijuana. Yes, and you know one thing that I'm surprised here in the United States? For example, uh, I thought this country is the most security country in the world, but it's not true. No, not it's not all. true. Uh, in my job, people steal food, steal? steal food every single day, man. Every you work in single a cafe day. And people steal. Food people from steal. A cafe. I have to work, and and I have uh, care the the uh, the thing in my the the products mm -hmm. because people steal. So, and we have policy here, and sometimes <laughs> I can't believe it. People steal and people eat outside from my job, like the the table. Do you know? Yeah. Like, they I've steal and they don't I've, care. I've done it once, I must admit. <laughs> <laughs> You're not talking about me, right? You didn't catch me. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right. So, do you know? So It's horrible. Okay. <clears throat> Since Miami Beach, for those who don't know, is, is a separate city from Miami, and uh, uh, we have nothing, we don't, Miami and Miami Beach don't share anything. They accept, yes. accept the name. We have there's Miami in yes. both, right? Uh, they have separate everything, separate council, separate mayor. Do you often go from Miami Beach to Miami across the bay? You know, it's uh, one one thing very interesting. When I was living in Brazil, I thought Miami Beach was a bit in Miami. I thought it was not two city. Me too. I was lucky. Is a city. Miami is the city, and Miami Beach is it's a beach, beach yeah. on Miami. That is no. And then you find out it's two different. South Beach is a beach. And exactly. Miami Beach is a city. And in America, if it's, they call uh, a lot of cities it's called beach. So Fort Lauderdale Beach. Sunny yeah. Beach, uh, uh, West Palm Beach. Exactly. Like it. So so everybody South Beach is the actual beach. But sometimes they call the neighborhood. Also. Exactly. Also, it can be confusing for uh, yes, yes. the rest of the world. Oh. So, what what the question? The question was: Do you often go to across the bay to downtown Miami, and 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 where do you go there, and what do you do there? Do, do you, which neighborhoods you like, and what do you do there? Well, I love. Is here? No. Oh no, it's the car. No. Okay. Okay. Well, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> Yeah. Sometimes I'm going there to to downtown because one thing I love in this country is about the tall building. Mm -hmm. You know, uh, skyscrapers and this, yeah. Miami has the most beautiful cityscape in the world because when you're in Miami Beach and you go to South Point Park, you can see cityscape. There's water, That's a perfect two view. three miles of water, yes. and then boom, buildings, it looks like they're coming from the water. The sunset is and, amazing. Oh, the sunset is right behind the buildings. Exactly. And uh, what so, a picture, what a picture. It's, exactly. it's just majestic. Sometimes I sit there and look, wow. It's like this urban, tropical it, paradise. Exactly, you know? exactly, sorry. So for that, sometimes I came there just to see the buildings, just to feel in United States. I was talking about it to live here. I don't feel United States. Yeah. When I came to Miami, downtown when Miami. I go to Miami, in downtown, I feel more in United States than here in Miami Beach. You know yeah, what I mean? Yeah, I agree. This so, is this is more like a, this is Casablanca of America. This is it, it happened to be inside American territory, but it's not really American. Exactly. Uh, the so, culture, the language, the the just everything, and it's an island as well. Exactly. People forget that sometimes. Exactly. One sometimes. thing I like about living in the this climate, tropical climate, is there is more colors everywhere. So if you look at the sunset, you look at the sky, if there is a bit of cloud, it adds more color. It's it, There's just more vivid colors than it, it is if you were, for example, in England, or which is quite gray. And, and like you look at the ocean and it's turquoise blue and all shades of turquoise blue and it goes yeah. all the way to navy. It's just, you're surrounded by a lot of color. And, and to me, it's very important to, to see the color. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I, it talks to me, you know, it's, I feel good. I know, I know, me too. So for that, I, I went to, to downtown just for that, just to, or if I want to buy something special, the, the price is better there.